Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. Dirty office behind me. I just got ready, I'm gonna go film a video, but I wanted to share this really yummy chicken marinade with you guys. Sam's got soccer game on in the background. Um, he, um, so, okay. This really yummy chicken marinade, so I don't actually measure it out. It's just the ingredients that are more delicious. I freeze chicken breasts when we get them because it's just, this, this is our house right now. But, be, I'm gonna say, be careful of putting the TV because that's CBS in there. Oh, they're weird about it? Okay. Uh, they pay a lot of I'm sorry, it's our house, but like also Salem, like this cat, just like so spoiled, it's insane. These animals, they are so obsessed with Sam. I, I just like, they'll just, I'll walk out and all of them will just be sitting there staring at him. It's so not fair. They don't love me the way they love him. Um, okay, so the chicken breasts. When I get them in, it's just Sam and I, so I usually buy a big pack of chicken breasts. I'll stick two in a bag, a gallon size bag, and I'll freeze them. A dip, earlier in the morning before we cook them that night, I'll pull them out, let them thaw. And then right now it is 3.34, and we're probably gonna eat dinner, what would you say, about 5.36 o'clock? Probably. Just normal time? So they don't have to marinate long, but I throw everything into the bag itself. And it is so, so good. I literally go based off of the size of the chicken breast, so don't hate me for not having <laughs> the actual like size increments. And then what I do is I let them marinate for a couple hours, and then I'll pull them out. And this is actually a trick I learned on TikTok, and it makes such a difference with your chicken. And I'll show you guys how I cook it. So you cook the chicken breast in a pot on or a pan on the stove for about three to five minutes on each side, just depending on, you know, how thick they are. And then you stick them in the oven for 10 minutes or less. Again, it just kind of depends on how thick they are and how long they need to be cooked. Usually I do 400 for about five minutes because once I've cooked them five minutes on each side and then I stick them in the oven, something about that combo of cooking them on the oven, uh, cooking them on the stove top and then putting them in the oven makes the chicken so juicy. And then this marinade is gonna really kind of give it a crispy, like outside. So when I tell you guys we have been eating this chicken non-stop, I am not kidding. So it's this chicken and then we're gonna do broccoli, like roasted broccoli and roasted carrots. So that has been like our favorite meal. Sam and I both have been eating and craving the roasted carrots like it is nobody's job. So I'm gonna share that with you guys and then I actually need to go get filming. Okay, so not a ton of stuff. Salt and pepper, very simple. This is the key time. Okay, onion powder, olive oil, and then a little bit of minced garlic. I literally just throw in however much olive oil I feel. These chicken breasts are fairly large. So I'll do about that much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the worst. I feel like I'm always sharing these recipes, like my mom's chili, I'll share my mom's chili recipe, and I'll be like, but I don't really follow that anymore. Once you get the hang of it, you just kinda, just kinda go for it bit of each. I actually do a decent amount of onion powder and the minced garlic too because that's really good. But I'm telling you, thyme, that is key, okay? Thyme on um, pork is really good too. I really, it. I just eyeball it. Much minced garlic. Goodness, he's out there barking at somebody. Oh, he is mad mad. This must be like getting close to the house. Just make sure it's all in there. All right, I'm gonna stick it back in the fridge for a couple hours and then we'll cook it. I also wanted to show you guys my super fashionable look for the day. Like, look at this, just so stylish. I have on, I'm about to film a video. So this is a new that new sweatshirt from the last vlog. Um, It's from Abercrombie. And then I have on my sleep shorts because I didn't want to put pants on. I'm gonna have to and I have my lovely pale legs. So killing it, but I actually need to quit procrastinating now because we're gonna lose daylight soon if I'm not careful. Sam's kind of cutting up some of the chicken. Cut, we'll cut stuff off the chicken. So um, roasted veggies, I actually do get this question a lot. So that, can you tell that Sam did this and not me? Like look how OCD, it's so funny. <laughs> Okay, so I get the question a lot of how do you roast them? Do you put anything crazy on them? So we actually don't. We just do olive oil, salt, and pepper. These little two pieces are for Doug. He literally just cut chicken to give me to cook for Doug. A dog. No wonder he you're his favorite. 
Um, okay, my arm is like really sore. Mine's are freezing cold in this chicken's right out of the fridge. I know, it's so cold in this house. Um, all right, so we just do olive oil, salt, and pepper. It is easiest for us. I feel like this food doesn't need a ton of stuff. You can add other things if you want. It's just not. That trash is gonna have to go out tonight. Um, I just don't think you need to add a lot of stuff. Okay, so salt, pepper. Four hundred degrees. So the broccoli does not take long. The broccoli actually will go in a couple minutes before the chicken. Broccoli does need a lot more olive oil though, because it soaks that stuff up. You think about what? Oh, you've talked a lot about that recently. Yeah, that little thing out there. That grass heap is like for fruit and stuff. I don't ever really want to put like meat in that. But like you can put meat in a compost bin. Okay, so he actually cut off the tendons and stuff and then just tossed these back in the bag. So let me cook. Um these go in for about if it's 400 degrees, we like to put these in for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um anything over that, they do start to get a little bit overcooked. Anything under, I feel like they're like not crispy. And then broccoli at 400 needs like five to 10 minutes max, if that. Zeus, here's his name. He knows he's getting, he knows he's getting some chicken. So Sam actually cut the chicken uh, breasts in half, so they probably won't even take as long as I thought they would. How these kind of cook, but again, it's like not a, a big deal. You don't have to get them absolutely perfect in here because again, you're gonna only do like five minutes on this side and then flip them five minutes and then you stick them in the oven. Uh, yummy, let me pimp. All right, so you can kind of just see, they don't have any black on them. Usually like them too because I like my like super crispy carrots, but these are good. We've got the broccoli and the chicken here. It's not the prettiest, but you guys, it is so delicious. All right, today's outfit. Literally, the I'm like I just am wearing this on repeat. Um, I have on my Billabong graphic tee that I got from Nordstrom. This Target jacket that I wear literally three times a week. Target maternity jeans that I always wear. We are at 30 weeks today. Well, he's at 31 because he's a big boy. After the last appointment, we discovered he's already at 31, but I am at 30. <laughs> he has been kicking so much lately. I, um, Sam and I now share an office because the baby's room was Sam's office. And I think he's like getting used to Sam's voice because he kicks all the time, especially when Sam is talking a lot. So like the more Sam talks, the more kicks he has. So it's really sweet, but I gotta figure out what shoes I'm wearing today. It's like rainy and gross. I think I'm gonna just wear sneakers. I don't, I don't know. I may not wear, it's actually not even that cold out. I might change into a light cardigan actually. I have rain boots. I don't want to wear the rain boots. Yeah, at this point, we're just going to do the Veja sneakers. Um, but this baby is moving so much. I definitely was telling one of my girlfriends who announced she's pregnant last week. I think it was like last Sunday, last Saturday. Um, she will be, actually, she's 14 weeks today. Oh my God, she's in the second trimester. Uh, we found out she was pregnant when she was like eight weeks. I think she was almost eight weeks. She was like a couple days shy. And uh, the reason we found out was because we were having a Christmas party, our friend group was, and her husband showed up and he kind of stood in the doorway and we all turned around and we were like, what's wrong? And he was like, Samantha won't be coming. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's pregnant. And he was like, yeah, and she's not doing well. So God help her, she is still in the thick of it. Um, they're having a little girl. She is, she is struggling and I feel so bad for her. Um, and that's what I was telling her. I was like, listen, like the second trimester, it obviously, like I didn't have morning sickness. Um, so I definitely feel for her in that, that way, especially. 
but I told her, I said, the second trimester, like everyone was like, oh my God, the second trimester is the best ever. And you'll just love it. And I didn't. Like the second trimester was painful and uncomfortable. And that it was like towards the end of the second trimester, I actually started going to the chiropractor. And once I went to the chiropractor, I think that's when pregnancy kind of took a turn for me. And so far the uh, third trimester has been my favorite by a landslide because he's moving a lot and I know he's doing good in there. We got to see him the other day. He actually might look like me. So, okay. Now that I'm out of breath from literally putting shoes on, I can tell you guys. So, we saw him at 24 weeks and she flipped the screen on and I didn't, we weren't expecting to see him. And he was so cute. He looked just like Sam. Um, the other night we went and saw him doing the 3D, 4D and I was like, anticipating what he looked like. He has a little bit more meat on his bones. He's definitely got chubbier cheeks. She says he has hair, which made me so happy. Um, Sam has a lot of hair. I have a lot of hair. This kid is gonna have thick, thick hair. He has like Sam's lips in the sense that his lips like pull kind of at the bottom, but there was sometimes he would move his head and I was like, he definitely does kind of favor me. So who knows, maybe my genes have a chance after all. <laughs> or my genetics, whatever you want to call them. I think I am going to take this off. I think I am going to put a cardigan on. I'm just, it's very, very hot. Very hot. Okay, outfit update. <laughs> Actually changed into leggings, beige sneakers, and the long cardigan because it's a lot thinner. I love my car tent. You guys probably can't tell how tinted it is. It feels so luxurious in this car. Um, okay, so I have to take giveaway goodies. I am so glad I changed into the cardigan and not the jacket. It is like, let's see what the temperature is outside. Yeah, that's about what I thought, 60 degrees. It's probably, it feels a little cooler because there's wind, but like what, it's February. What, what is happening? And there's like parts of the country right now, like Houston is covered in freaking snow. So I'm going to run errand. I have to go to the post office. I have to go to the UPS store and then I'm going to swing back through Zaxby's and get um, some yummy food because your girl wants a Zaxby's garden salad. So all right, I just came all the way out here to my PO box. Y'all, I've had the worst luck with mail today. First of all, I'm irritable and I'm tired all of a sudden. Um, kind of not in a good mood. But I've had the worst luck today. So I drove out of the, got out of the driveway. So I always will ship giveaway packages and stuff for my PO box mail office because I'll come out here and actually check it because I'm not really good about coming out here and checking it. Um, so I turn out of my driveway and I turned left. I should have turned right to come to ship everything first. So ended up going to the UPS store taking back this horrendous jacket that I purchased and it did not say on there that it needed to be boxed up but when I got in she like very confidently was like this has to have a box on it and she like said the computer saying it has to have a box on it and I was like okay so just sell me a box <laughs> I don't care I'm not coming back sell me a box so I go get Sam and I lunch coming home past another post office that's not my PO box place um they're closed because it's lunch because I waited too long. Finally, I get here after lunch. The system's not working. <laughs> they get it working. I go to check my PO box and I don't have the mother effing key. <laughs> the, the like the post office gods are just like, girl, no mail for you today. So I texted Sam, while I'm out here, there's this cute little coffee shop close by. I'm gonna go get a chai tea latte. I just pray to God that I feel better because I definitely have been feeling a lot more in the afternoons, very, very tired. I know that's like third trimester fatigue hitting, um, but I gotta keep, I gotta keep it pushing. He's actually home right now doing something important for work, so he's probably not gonna respond to my text, but I asked him if he wanted anything. Oh well. UPS is just, U, UPS and USPS, actually, it's both of them. It's just not my day today. It's not my day. So, what is the, what is the brand? So this is the high chair. The Stoke, I think, Trip Trap high chair. It fits up to like seven year olds, but you can see the picture, Celine. Sir, excuse me. 
Can I, can I move you for a second? Thank you. Um, where is it? So it shows, I don't know why the camera does that when I'm under these lights. It shows just the different sizes. Um, so, it's what Sam's putting together right now. Is it, so, is it bad so far or no? No, it's super easy. Yeah, so it's like just a couple pieces, not that many. I'm helping. And by helping, I mean overseeing. I am supervising because I would probably slow the process down to be, to be completely honest. Um, but we just got back from dinner, so I am now like so tired. This baby, he's been moving so much, y'all. He is like moving around the clock now. And I think I told you guys today, like he really moves when Sam um, talks a lot. And that's what I was just telling Sam a minute ago. I was like, he already likes you more than me. It's not fair. <laughs> he moves the whole, like every time Sam is on a conference call, he kicks like a crazy person because he can just hear his dad. So, um, so I was telling him a minute ago, he came in and he was like, Sam was just talk, 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 talking. And the baby was just kicking. Now that Sam's quiet, he's, he's stopped. Um, so. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> when you guys are actually watching this, I think I'm gonna get it up tomorrow. We'll be in Camden. Um, one of my college girlfriends is getting married tomorrow and I'm so excited. I do wanna show you guys the dress. I've been meaning to show that to y'all. It's so cute. It is maternity. It's from ASOS. Um, oh, he really did mess up the bed. It's so, so pretty. I'll see if I can. I can't insert a picture because this vlog will probably be up while we're there. Um, I'll insert a picture of what the model looks like wearing it because it looks. That's, I look the same. It is so nice though. This is the dress I'm wearing. It's ASOS Maternity. It is so gorgeous. It's a little bit more expensive than what I usually spend on maternity pieces, but I also got this with anticipation. Like I might wear this next weekend for maternity photos as well. Just get a couple. It's like this really pretty lavender, light purple color. Um, and it's got double lines. So the inside is lined here and then it's got a closure and then it zips right there. So it's very roomy. Um, I got a, oh gosh, my sizing on this one was a little crazy, I think. I read the reviews on this one and it said size up one. So I got what would be a US eight because I wear like a true size six still in all maternity stuff. Um, so that's what I'm wearing tomorrow. She's having like a little, uh, she's not having a nicer wedding in the sense of like we're required to have a dress code, but I know my girl Ellie, we gonna dress nice. I know her. I know what I know what her expectation level is, um, and I know what her dress looks like. So, yeah. Um, all right. So that's it. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna go shower. Put on some self tanner. Probably give myself a facial because it has been so long since I've done that, and my skin is so dry. So thank you guys for watching the vlog, and we will see you next time.